5.4 number one. So we'll use the fundamental theorem of calculus uh, to evaluate this integral. Fundamental theorem part two. So we find the antiderivative, so that'd be two, 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 two of x, absolute value of x. So the antiderivative one over x is natural log absolute value of x, and we're going from one half to three. So remember it's the antiderivative evaluated here minus the antiderivative evaluated here. So it's two times three minus natural log of three minus two times one half minus natural log of one half. All right, so we have six minus natural log of three minus one plus natural log of one half. All right, so six minus one is five, but what's the natural log of one half? One of our properties of logs is if you have the natural log Yes, natural log of b. So this is natural log of 1 minus natural log of 2. <coughs> and any log 1, doesn't matter, the base is always going to be 0. So we have 6 minus, well, I'll call it 5 minus natural log of 3 um, minus natural log of 2. So all these are versions of the correct answer. Um, we can combine those natural log of 3 plus natural log of 2 so that's the natural log of 6 so 5 I took a negative 1 no. so 5 minus natural log of 6 it's probably what the book has for an answer